in this magical moment, energized with expectation and high on hope, we cannot help but be sobered by the raw realities that face this class with class. In a real sense, those raw realities are can't circumstances that are trying to overwhelmingly overrule what it is you want to do. Your want to do, in a real sense, is that dream that you have in your heart, that dream which is a preferred picture of what the world will look like because of the signature that you are gifted to write on this time and on our future. And yet there are can't circumstances determined to overrule our desires and our dreams. To be sure, you ought to have a dream. The late, great Dr. Benjamin Elijah Mays would often quote, Harriet du Altremont, no vision and you perish, no ideal and you are lost. Your heart must ever cherish some hope at any cost, some hope, some dream to cling to, some service that is high, some melodies to sing to, some rainbow in the the sky. You ought to have a dream. You ought to be so obsessed with your oughtness that you were never incarcerated by your isness. You ought to have a dream. You ought to believe that tomorrow can be better than today. A dream that orders your steps and your stops. You ought to have a dream. But let us be aware of the sad reality, the raw reality, that there are can't circumstances that determined diabolically to overrule the want to of your highest hopes and your noblest dreams. Watch it as you move across the stage on tomorrow, greeted by a world especially awaiting African American men with statistics that in a real sense say that your want to will be overwhelmingly overruled by life telling you what you can't do.